This is Nathan Norman, Sydney Wright, and Aaron Pugh from Soltex. And, and you are listening, listening to Doggy Time, Time on DentonRadio.com. If you're the police, where are your badges? Badges? We ain't got no badges. I don't have to show you any stinking badges. It's Doggy Time. Yeah, hello. Hello? What? A pizza with no anchovies. No, no, wait, wait. No, I don't have any breadsticks. No, wait, you got the, you got the wrong. Mom? Hey. Yeah, it's me. No, this is not Domino's, it's doggy time. Put your glasses on and redial again. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, I love you too. Okay, but I gotta go. All right. Paws up, cats and kittens. You are listening to Doggy Time on DentonRadio.com. I am your host, Bone Doggy, and for the next undetermined amount of time, you are going to be subjected to as much news, gossip, information, innuendo, murder, mayhem, and of course, good music from the uh, Denton area, uh, at least as much as we could muster up while we were all still sober. So uh, before we get started, we want to give a couple shout-outs to our buddies out there. First of all, we want to give our shout-out to Brother Phil and Brother Robert from uh, Hannah's Restaurant. Uh, they had their Christmas party January 8th, hosted up at Dan's, and Bone Doggy and the Hickory Street Hellraisers had the honor of playing for that little bash, and it was a bash, my cats and kittens. We had a great time. Also, want to send some words of love out to our buddies Backwater Opera. They went on a quick little two-week tour of Oregon, which is, to me, just fascinating because most people just get in the car and, and drive out to Grand Prairie. So anyway, much love to Backwater Opera. You guys uh, get home safe. And you need to be home by a certain date because I know you got a gig with Mockingbird Station coming up, so uh, you need to get here. Also, uh, special love to my boys, 1140. They are in the studio right now. They are recording their new CD. Uh, we've all been waiting a long time for this one, so uh, we are giving all our love to 1140 and hope we see something real soon. Otherwise, we're going to have to visit you in the middle of the night and put a bat up your nightdress. But that's all for a future date, and uh, if we do happen to do that, we'll keep y'all posted. I'm sure that it will be quite entertaining when it happens. So, moving right along, as is our custom here, my cats and kittens, we have with us in the studio a special guest that's uh, come to sit in with us. Uh, and this week's guest has been a partner in crime for quite a while. Uh, he fills in as the MC at the Banter Open Mic when... Yours truly, Bone Doggy, is either out gigging or in jail or otherwise disposed, as well as he hosts his own open mic up to Crossroads every Tuesday night. That's Crossroads up on Elm Street. He is, in alphabetical order, Matthew Grigsby. So say hello, Matt. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Earth. Hello, Earth. All right. You doing all right? I'm doing quite uh, well. I want to thank you very much for coming out and doing this mess. My pleasure. And uh, as as we are taping right now, we can actually say that last night we had a gig. Indeed we did. At uh, the garage. At the garage. the garage. We played at the garage. For the dude bros. For, for the dude bros. Dude. dude. Bro. 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 <laughs> dude. Yep. And uh, the dude bro girls, too. They yep. were, there were a few there. All three of them. Yeah. All three of them, yeah. The, the ratio was kind of lopsided. But One of them was playing. Uh, that's tr Oh, yes. The <laughs> lovely and talented Birdie Nall was with us last night. And uh, she at least got everybody's attention. It's, it's uh, kind of a, a gift from heaven when... Everybody that plays after you is just an ugly guy. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, Matt, I want to thank you for coming, setting in with us tonight. Thank Appreciate you for it. Me. All right, we will hear a lot more from Matt Grigsby here in a little bit. But uh, right now, what we'd like to do is uh, walk down the road and get to our featured artists for the week. And we're going to do something a little bit different this week. We're going to feature more than one featured artist, so we will have several featured artists. And the uh, first featured artist we're going to have this week is uh, a dear friend of ours, Mr. John Thomason, also known as Jukebox Johnny T. And if truth be known, and we're not talking out of school, Brother Johnny T was uh, actually the first guitar player for Bone Doggy and the Hickory Street Hellraisers way back in the day. And it was in uh, Johnny T's living room that the uh, Hickory Street Hellraisers were born. So we have much love for Brother Johnny T, and he is now known as Jukebox Johnny T. 
And we're going to open up with a song of his called I'm Going to Show Them All. So here is Jukebox Johnny T. You are listening to Doggy Time on DentonRadio.com. Take it away, Brother John. My mama was a whore. She was never home at night. My daddy was a drunk. But it taught me how to fight. And the devil standing by. Just a waiting for the fall. And I swear by the Lord and the angels someday I'm a gonna show them all. You know I'm working me a job. And I'm saving every dime. Swear by the Lord and his angels someday, I'm going to show them all. That was Jukebox Johnny T. All right, cats and kittens, it is now time for the public service portion of the program. If you are a musician looking for a band or a band looking for a musician, the answer to this and other universal questions can be found at DentonRadio.com's Musicians Pre-Classified. The uh, Musicians Free Classified is a service we offer here on the Doggy Time Show in which you can send your SOS out over the airwaves and fill up that empty hole in your roster and your heart. Now, we got a couple uh, announcements here. First of all, uh, Earthshine needs a bass player. That would be Tanya Blum or David Rios. You can get on Facebook and holler at them. It's T-O-N-Y-A-B-L-U-M or David, D-A-V-I-D-R-I-O-S. The band Earthshine is a, a good, solid rock band. These guys are pretty good. Tanya plays flute and does the vocals, and David's a guitar player and does vocals as well. And they're a lot of fun, so uh, if you're a bass player looking for that type of action, give them a shout. Also, our buddy Soul Tax, still looking for a bass player. So uh, if you think you could hang with Soul Tax, give old Aaron Pugh a holler. His name is A-A-R-O-N-P-U-G-H. Just hook up with these guys on Facebook and uh, see if you can set you up something and maybe come together in a beautiful and lovely astronomical way. Also, Jukebox Johnny T, Brother Johnny Thomason, is looking for a partner in crime. He's looking for uh, somebody that can sing. 
mostly second voice, and and uh, it doesn't matter if you play upright bass or you play Mandy or guitar, anything that's along the roots music type line, because that's a uh, that's jukebox Johnny T to a T, <laughs> if you'll pardon the pun. Jukebox will also play a little bit of rockabilly, so if you think that's something you might want to do, give a holler on Facebook to John. Thomason, T-H-O-M-A-S-O-N. These guys all live here in Denton, so uh, give them a shout and see if you can hook up. Now, if you want to get your message out over the airways on DentonRadio.com on the uh, Doggy Time Show, just email your situation along with your phone number, email Addy, Facebook page, Reverb Nation page, Sonic Bid page, and any other pertinent information to musicians classified at dentonradio.com that is musicians classified at dentonradio.com bone doggy will read them out over the air on the doggy time show and hopefully some of you fellow jammers out there will get all hooked up and as always my cats and kittens let it be known to the bone that i will not be reading out any phone numbers over the airwaves the preferred method of travel is facebook or email so once again it's musicians classified at dentonradio.com all right cats and kittens it is time of the show where we pay homage homage give dedications and great solicitations to those venues which are our bread and butter in other words who's playing where what time and how much and we need to remind you that this information was not solicited we got it off the internet that's right so it's not exactly correct it's, it's not, not our, our fault. fault. That's right. No responsibility. None claimed. Okay. No. Matt, what's happening at Andy's? Well, Andy's this Thursday, January the 19th, we're going to have 1140. My boys. They're always fun. Always good times. My boys. They're, they're going to have Encana with them, Mid-City Driver, and the Unlikely Candidates. Sure, it could be a good night. And then Friday the 20th at Andy's, we're going to have Culture Shock Presents. Have no idea what that means. No idea. No, no idea. Clue. We looked. We did look on the internet, couldn't find any information. All we know is Culture Shock pre presenting something. They're presenting something. Or something like that. So, okay. <laughs> and then we move on to the 21st, that Saturday, there we're going to have Dark Horse Darling, Like Bridges We Burn, Set the Sun, The News Can Wait, and d -Hark. All right. Well, let's see. At Haley's, Friday, January 20th. Freak the Mighty and Les Saboteurs. Doors are going to open at 9. Uh, it's $5 for the over 21. $7 for the under 21. Uh, Saturday, January 21st at Haley's. Gray Tone Productions. Wreck the Mic Rap Battle. There is a $250 grand prize. The doors will open at 9 o'clock. $5 for the over 21s and seven for under 21s. It says here, Hip Hop Artists, we urge you to sign up for this event. We will have celebrity judges critiquing you after your performance. All of the artists will perform and then the judges will pick five. Those remaining five will uh, compete again and the judges will critique you. And then it'll be narrowed down to two finalists who will perform again, and the winner then will receive a studio recording prize from Grey Tone Productions. That's where uh, Bone Doggy and the Hickory Street Hellraisers recorded our first CD at Grey Tone. Good guys. We actually did it when they didn't have a studio built. <laughs> Walked in, seriously. Uh, they, they had one monitor, and they had uh, one set of headphones. So uh, we, set the, uh, we set the Hellraisers up in a big circle and played through everything. In two takes, except for two songs, we did uh, one take. So I'm, this is my bragging rights. Oh. That's what I love my kids, and they can they can do that. <laughs> if you're a Hellraiser, you can do that. And now all their producers have gray hair. Uh, exactly, yeah, because uh, you know we did destroy the place. What was there of it anyway? So, but we had a good time, and we love Gray Tone for it. So here's what you got to do: is uh, you can submit your best track to talent at graytoneproductions.com. Send them a wave or, or whatever you can send them. If you don't have anything online yet, uh, they understand. Uh, if you need to be auditioned live, give them an email at graytonebooking at gmail.com. Again, if you're going to audition live or need to audition live, send an email to graytonebooking at gmail.com. And if you do got something you can send them, send it to talent at graytoneproductions.com. And that is G-R-E-Y-T-O-N-E. Who's playing at Dan's? At Dan's on the 19th, we've got The Life and Times, The Kush. The Kush. And Calhoun. Man. Yeah. Doors are going to be at 9 o'clock. Starts at 10. 
Going to have $7 in advance if you buy the tickets in advance, $10 at the doors, 18 and up. Saturday the 21st, we got Charlie Hunter and Chris Cortez. Ooh, sounds like a good show. Sounds like a good show to me. When's it start? It's going to start at 8 o'clock. And the price is to, to be, be determined. determined. Okay. <laughs> but uh, you can't get in, so all you got to do is give them their money. All right. Uh, now, as far as Bone Doggy and the Hickory Street Hellraisers are concerned, Saturday, 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 <laughs> Saturday, January 28th, 9 p.m. at Mabel Peabody's Beauty Parlor and Chainsaw Repair Nightclub. I'm going to say that again. Say that again, Matt. Read okay. it. That's great. Saturday, January 28th at 9 p.m. at Mabel Peabody's Beauty Parlor and Chainsaw Repair Nightclub. That name's just golden. I it love. I just love that. Okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> on January 28th, Whiskey Tongue Burlesque's first anniversary special. Whiskey Tongue Burlesque is uh, the brainchild of uh, Lemmy Adams and Tipsy Cup. Uh, a couple of uh, Denton locals and some very dear friends of mine and uh, we had the honor of actually playing for their inaugural show and now we're going to play for their uh, first anniversary up at Mabel Peabody's and you are going to see the lights of course of Tipsy Cups and Lemmy Adams also Trixie to Tease, Willow Wisp, Ruby Manhattan, Dixie Tricks and the incredible Nikki Trash. So, uh, and also DJ Rhino will be keeping the party going all night long. Bone Doggy and the Hellraisers are going to end up with that show and uh, c close it out. So the cover is $3 for 21 and plus and $5 for 20 and under. Also, uh, Cats and Kittens, we want to remind you one more time for your calendar. Uh, we are going to have a benefit for Brother Andy Cooper. Andy is the leader and clarinet player of Le Otso Hot Club. Uh, suffered a stroke here a while back and uh, putting together a fundraiser to raise some money for him. He's got one monster of a medical bill. The show is going to be Sunday, January 29th from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock at the uh, Center for Visual Arts on the corner of Bell and East Hickory. It's going to feature Brave Combo, the not-quite-so-hot club, Sans Andy, but Thad Bonduras will be running that show. Old Mr. Joe Pinson is going to be with them, and also the Side Street Circus, David Hira. The event is free, but we are taking donations to send some love to Brother Andy Cooper. And also, we want to uh, mention that uh, there are some open mics here in town. Uh, we, of course, have on Thursday night the open mic hosted by yours truly up at Banter. And uh, where are we at Tuesday night? Tuesday night's at Crossroads, starting at 9 o'clock. That's right. You walk in and... How do you sign up? There's a there's a little dry erase board. I love those. Yeah. Murder boards. Murder <laughs> board. That's right. Walk in the door, sign up, grab a beer, and wait. That's the way. <laughs> now at Banter, the list goes up at 7 o'clock, Cats and Kittens, and I will tell you, the list is usually full at 7.05, so you've got to be there and in line at 7 o'clock. And also, I learned today that uh, Love Shack has a uh, open mic on Wednesday nights. I'm not sure exactly the time. You can give Love Shack a holler. In fact, if you want to, you could talk to uh, Mikey Stouffer up there at Love Shack. He should be able to fill you in on all the uh, gooey details that you need to know. So that's what we got for the uh, calendar this week, Cats and Kittens. And now we are going on to yet another featured artist. Now this featured artist is a good friend of ours. He's done a couple gigs with us. and. Uh, He's a regular up at Banter's Open Mic. That's where I met him, and uh, I affectionately refer to him as Dr. Fingers. And you're going to get a little sample here of why we call him that. So, without further ado, let me introduce you to Brother Rance Parrot and his song, What It Do. You're listening to Doggy Time on DentonRadio.com. Take it away, Brother Rance. seen it before you never believe what you say what you say I think I'm never gonna give up my sleep no and that's what it do what it do like I said like I said 
This ain't like the blue boy, this is more like the red, yeah. So don't you think you can't do Find out, oh hell yeah. And I continue my wobble as I stumble down the stairs. I can't feel my leg, but you know it has to be there. Cause that's what it do, what it do. And like I said, like I said, this ain't like the blue man, this is more like the red. Yeah. So don't you want to pay you? Like a new book, giving me a lies that are never good, holding me down. Oh, save yourself. Oh, save yourself. I know my baby is again, I'm making up minds, so giving up a reason, I'm taking up time. Oh, who are you to judge? What are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, what the hell are you? We're coming around I'm trying to make Commands out of me mm -hmm. I better watch you Better keep my eye on you Cause that's what I do That's what I do, yeah I don't care I'm on a roll of my sleeve I'm on a fade away Yes, I'm gonna leave Cause that's what it do, what it do And like I said, like I said This ain't like the blue boy This is more like the red yeah. So don't you, don't you Can't you find out Oh, yeah All right, cats and kittens, it is that time of the show in which we introduce to you our special studio guest and let them fill your ear bones with words of wisdom, platitudes, and general nonsense. And tonight with us, we have, as we've already introduced to you, the lovely, the talented Matthew Grigsby. Hi. <laughs> We could try this again if you want. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Grigsby. Hey. Hey, there you go. Was good to see you. Thank you so much for coming out. <laughs> Thank you for having me. All right. And uh, Matthew has been playing around Denton for quite a while. Uh, we've been partners in crime for good, what, two, three years now, maybe yeah. even longer than that. It's called two and a half. Two and a half years. We'll call it two and a half years. That's probably a lie. So it's been longer than that, you know, but we're both growing old, and so we don't want to mention it. But uh, anyway, Matthew... Uh, um, you are a singer songwriter pretty much a solo act although when i met you you were playing with the poison whiskey the poison we whiskeys were, yeah we were an apocalyptic bluegrass band <laughs> that's totally different from anything else i've yes, ever heard we were all beginners and uh who else was we, in that band oh uh, cat named lucas tro played lucas. mandolin yeah and uh carson craig played banjo yeah haven't seen them in years that, <laughs> since, really pretty much since that band broke up haven't talked since, since the apocalypse, they are gone. Okay, yeah, we haven't seen Lucas for quite a while, but yeah. I, I I think we initially met at Andy's. We played a gig with you guys, 
and yeah. and uh, and then you started coming up to the open mic up at Banter. That's right. Yeah. And became a regular, which is very often happens with uh, those that have the wherewithal to uh, play week in and week out. And Matthew certainly filled that bill. And then uh, next thing I knew, you were a solo act. Yeah, and, and doing your own thing, writing your own tunes and all of that. When when did you start playing? When did you first get interested in music? Well, I always sang when I was a kid. You know, did you come out sang. singing? Yeah, pretty much. Mm. Yeah. Pop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slap him on the butt instead of crying. He starts singing. Okay. <laughs> but I didn't start playing guitar until I was like nineteen. Really? Yeah. Well, a late bloomer. Late late bloomer. You know, I started as a as a theater major in East Texas, and I moved moved up to Denton just. Wanted to hear some music. I'd never written a song, barely knew how to play guitar. Really? Came up here, started frequenting open mics and seeing shows, and just. You know. So you you had a theater sort of background, I guess, through high school, and and then uh, when you come to Denton, you just got the music bug. Got the music bug. That's got right. the music bug. Yeah. All right. Your your particular taste in music. You're very fond of John Prine. John Prine and, and uh, Towns Van Zandt's a big one of mine. Right. You know, and Dylan, of course. So mostly singer-songwriter stuff. Most, and, mostly singer-songwriter. You know, right. yeah. Very cool. Very cool. And and that has all cul culminated into a uh, an EP that you put out last year. Yeah, um, almost a year now. Almost, almost entire I think, year. I think in March. Have you sold any, Matt? I, yeah, actually, all right. I actually sold them all. <laughs> well, I know, I know. See, I got mine for free. So. <laughs> I know he he did he didn't sell one. Actually, actually, I stole it while he wasn't looking. I walked right up behind him and took it and then buggered off. So, uh, but uh, is is it a self titled EP? What's the name? Yeah, of Yeah, it's self titled. Just Matthew because Grigsby. It was a surprise because I'd, I'd gotten a tax return and then I I talked to uh, the guy who recorded it before and so they called me up and like a few hours later I had the EP. We recorded it all in one afternoon. Who 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 did you record it with? It recorded with Metamorphosis. Where's that? At? It, it, well. At my house now. <laughs> it's a Taylor Mosley's bunch. Taylor, Taylor oh Mosley's bunch. For, for those of you that don't know, Taylor Mosley has been traipsing around from couch to couch, and has finally landed in Matt's living room. And uh, yeah, Taylor has. You guys have been working together for quite a while. Quite a while, and uh, we're working on my uh, full studio album that should be out here in the next couple months. Ah, great, great. Is, yeah. is this all new tunes that's going on the, the new album? Mm -hmm. Some of the, some of the songs that are on the EP will be on the album, but it oh, is mostly good. mostly new tunes. What uh, which which songs are going to be redone? Redone. Uh, Walking will be on there. Oh, lay me down will be on there, and humble as a child will be on there. Very good, very good. Well, speaking of walking, yeah, you said that you wanted to hear that one. Is that yeah? All right. Well, we are going to uh, spin a tune for you. Wax a hot one here. This is uh, Matthew Grigsby off his. Well, is there going to be a name for this new CD? There will. What's the name of the new CD? Let's plug it. It's going to be called Restless and Waiting. Restless and Waiting. So, ooh, we have a premiere, my cats and kittens, from the album that is not even finished yet. Restless and Waiting. This is Matthew Grigsby and Walkin'.
across Jerusalem Do I walk in towards Jerusalem The Holy City They got all the best guns I'm Tired of walking Gonna walk my ass back home Baby, all alone. Got the money, got the car, you might think I can get too far. But I got legs and I got dreams. Shoes are tired, I'm in the heat. Gonna walk till I lose my feet. Oh, hey, 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 I'm walking away. Walking away. All right. That was, of course, Matt Grigsby off his uh, new album, which I wrote down and now I can't find in my notes. What's it called? It's called Restless and Waiting. Restless and Waiting. That's right. All right. Well, um, um, this is something I talk to a lot of these singers and songwriters about um, around in town is the process of actually writing a tune. Nobody has a set process that I have met so far. But I notice, especially like uh, with with the tune walking, that's that's just a a normal everyday experience for you, right? Yeah, and right. and you tend to use those experiences. I do, yeah. To write songs, uh, one one song I know that you do uh, in particular, the Dead Bird, <laughs> Sidewalk Bird. Yeah, tell us about Sidewalk Bird. Okay, well, hey, well, walking kind of sets the mood for it because I don't have a car, so I do a lot of walking. Right, and you know I walk, I walk to work. Every, most every day, and that's about four miles. I work at Cracker Barrel. And you I, must be very healthy. I'm wasting away. Okay, you need to leave right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no healthy uh, people in the studio. <laughs> I'm sorry. So anyway, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, uh, there for a while, uh, every day on the on the sidewalk, I'd see this dead bird. And you know, seeing that image day after day, walking by this dead bird, it kind of got stuck in my head. You know, burned in my brain. And I thought, you know, this bird has become a part of my life. I'm gonna write a song about this dead bird. That's that's kind of iconic, really. That yeah. the bird has become a, a part of your life. And then there's a second part to this story, right? Yeah. Another animal. Another animal. As, as some time goes by, and further on down the road, I see a badger, a dead badger. Okay, uh, you mentioned this at the gig last night, and right. and I've heard I've heard you talk about this before, and it finally caught my attention. You're walking down the middle of Denton. And you come across a dead badger. A dead badger. That is an improbable event, as far as I'm concerned. Andy Cooper said the same thing. He, I was telling the story one night at Banter, and he haggled me. There's like, there's no badgers in Texas. <laughs> Anywhere. And, but what Andy Cooper doesn't know is not only do I have a Ph.D. in walking, I have a master's in roadkill. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, so you, you, ha what would that? That would be a a M R K, <laughs> uh, Doctor Grigsby, and uh, you found a dead badger. A dead badger. Where? Yeah. It was right when they were building the uh, the Walmart. They were working on that. And right. That, that, right. That first intersection there that nobody uses at all. <laughs> okay, but a, a dead badger a in dead badger. in Denton. Okay, yeah. so. <laughs> So you so now you've got a dead bird, which is part of your life, uh -huh. and suddenly you are confronted with a dead badger. With a dead badger, and I'm put at a crossroads because I'm a man that loves all creatures, right. and if I wrote a song about a dead bird, why shouldn't I write a song about a dead badger? I mean, who am I but a favorite bird over badger? <laughs> it's not but easy to rhyme with badger. It's not easy to rhyme with badger. And you probably shouldn't write songs about dead animals exclusively. You might get some funny looks. So yeah, I, I just stuck true. with the bird. That's true. So you did that, and you come up with the dead bird song. The dead bird song. Um, some of the other tunes you write, I mean, are, are you one of those people that wake up like in the middle of the night and start jotting stuff down? Or has that ever happened I, to you? 
Well, I've had moments where I suddenly like rush to my guitar. Right. But I rarely, rarely write lyrics down at all. Really? Because my handwriting's really bad. And if I start writing it down, I get discouraged. Uh, <laughs> I can't read this. <laughs> I can't read this. <laughs> I love you with all my head. <laughs> <laughs> that type of thing. That's that's why God made keyboards yeah. <laughs> for those of us that have no handwriting. Yeah. But uh, well, I know that you know it. it I, I write. Sometimes I write very early in the morning, um, and I walk my dog. I'll I'll write a lot of tunes there, you know. Um, I make up stories, but like I said before, is is a lot of your stories basically come from your real life experiences, real life, right? And and uh, that's that's something that people do. Some people do it very well. I mean, they do it naturally. Uh, I know that Bertie Nall writes her songs. Uh, using life experiences, and and she promised to teach me how to do it because I just make up stuff as I go along, really. I, you know, so. But uh, I envy that sometimes, though, because a lot of my favorite songwriters are just great storytellers. And right. Just I don't make do up that. something off the top of your head. It has you know. to happen to me before I write it down. You know. I think, I think one of the one of my favorite songs that I wrote would come off the back of a Wheaties box. So you know, <laughs> <laughs> just you you never know where your inspiration is going to be, honestly. So uh, um, once you get this LP done, and when when is the uh, when is the CD going to be done? Do you know? I'm I'm hoping either late February, early March. Where do you usually put your your CDs out at? Like to sell? Yeah. Well, uh, well, I'm gonna steal mine. Gonna I'm steal telling, your, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna wait till you're not looking, and I'm uh, gonna take it. That's, that's actually how I got Richard Gilbert. <laughs> I've got six of those. He's <laughs> he's real slow. Yeah. <laughs> actually, I'm gonna start putting them back and see if he notices. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm mostly gonna sell them at, uh, at open mics and stuff, but I'll, I'll take some to Mad World. Mad World's and, a good uh, place. That's that's a uh, that's the uh, the uh, CD place up on the square. Mad World, right. and and they will take your CDs and and put them on the shelf, and sometimes you'll pay your for them. Yeah, and and then of course half price books. Yeah. Our old friend half price books, which uh, we all spend a lot of time up there. Those two are the only places you can find my EP now. Right, I don't have anymore. Ooh, are you, and you're not going to press it anymore. Press ooh, anymore, so no. the EP is now a collector's it's item. A collector's, it's rare. Ooh, ooh, ooh. okay. I'm going to have to take my four <laughs> copies that I stole that you don't know about, and and get you to sign them. So, uh, all right. And you got any gigs coming up? You're going to be playing anywhere soon? All right. Yeah. Uh, Keep in mind that this is the week of the 20th and 21st. When this is Aaron, so well, what do you got coming up? Well, on the twentieth, I'm going to be at Crossroads with right. Billy Ratcliffe opening. That's right. We talked and, about the Reverend. And then uh, on the twenty-first, I'm going to be at Banter. I'm going to be at Banter for the first time in a while. With uh, I'm doing a song swap with Pat York. Ah, yeah, that's going to be fun. that's uh, good. Old Pat York has surfaced. He's he's a, a singer songwriter and and uh, he's a guy that is actually believe it or not, cats and kittens. We believe that Pat York is actually older than Bone Doggy. <laughs> And there's not too many people walking around on this planet that are older than Bone Doggy, but um, uh, Pat did a song swap with Kim Nall yeah. here just recently, and now you're going to do one. Explain the song swap. How's that work? Well, uh, this will be the first time I've done it, but you know, one of us plays a song and the other accompanies mm -hmm. the song. You know, Pat's a hell of a harp player. He's a great harp player. And, yes, uh, and he's a good, he's a good, good guitar player as well. He's, yeah, yeah, really interesting. Very he's talented talented guy. guy. He'll play one, I'll play one, and we'll. Just Keep swapping throughout the night. Really? Yeah. Oh, that sounds like an interesting deal. Well, if I'm not in jail or incapacitated, I'm gonna come out and watch that. So, well, uh, Matt, why don't you pick another tune off of your EP, which is <laughs> going to be uh, a collector's item now because it's gonna be just null and void after the new CD comes out. Pick, what do you want to hear? All right. Well, let's uh, let's do. Lay me down. Lay me down. Yeah. Oh, this is a sweet tune. Makes you want to cry. <laughs> so here we go off the EP from Matt Grigsby. Lay me down. You have to forgive me. I don't feel too good. My brain's just not acting like a good brain should. The night when I'm sleeping. Voices all play a thousand little symphonies in their endless little way. Lay me down, tell me I'm fine. Hold me close, whisper, it's alright. I'm living in the moment. Moments pretty bad. Let's talk 
of memories, good times we've had. Have to forgive me, I don't feel quite right. My heart just not glowing. Like it was glowing last night I'm really not sure That I could love anyone Save for solitude and music And the light from the sun Lay me down Tell me I'm fine Hold me close Whisper Talk just so sad that's just so sad that's a sad thing all right cats and kittens that's going to do it for the show this week and uh we'd like to thank matthew grigsby for coming out and sitting in with us thank you for having me oh our pleasure our pleasure we'd like to invite all of you to keep listening to dentonradio.com and to tune in for a new doggy time show next week probably about this time although we all know that time is an illusion lunchtime doubly so now, if you want to listen to Doggy Time anytime, you can go to dentonradio.blogspot.com where you can get more news and information about dentonradio.com. Here's some tracks from one of uh, our resident artists and uh, listen to some past episodes of Doggy Time. Uh, you can also find Denton Radio on Facebook, of course, and we'd love to have you go in there and put some kind words on there and let us know what you think of the show and if you're having a good time and enjoying it. Uh, Facebook is a very valuable tool. Yeah, that's how I keep track of my kids. So uh, anyway, we are going to go out with yet one more featured track, and I am going to say thank you to Matthew Grigsby, also Squiggles from the Hickory Street Hellraisers, and Taylor Mosley. This last tune is actually a cover of a Bone Doggy song. They presented it to me at Christmas, and I have got to tell you, cats and kittens, I have received few better gifts. So thank you so much, sir. Mm-hmm. I appreciate it. Whose idea was it? Well, I I learned the song. It was Mosley's idea to record it, and then when uh, Squigs got home from work, we got him to lay, lay the drums down. lay the drums down. Well, yeah. Squigs plays this all the time anyway, so that, <laughs> that was the easy part, right? So anyway, we are going to go out with a tune from Matthew Grigsby. It's a Bone Doggy tune. It's called Razor Sharp and Silk and Blue, and you are listening to Doggy Time on DentonRadio.com. Can you dig it? We knew that you could.
town's the same as the one before. Hotels in solitaire, empty bars with wooden floors, rain on the pavement, door slammed in my face. Promise of miracles, reality of mistakes. Razor sharp and silken blue. Seem to drink away this melancholy mood. All our friends in empty glass, pack of stale cigarettes, bottle of memories, suitcase of regret. miles of highway these old worn out shoes bus station breakfast train station blues I'm selling my soul one door at a time storing pennies in heaven oh our hell is full of dimes Razor sharp and silk and blue. Ooh, can't seem to drink away this melancholy mood. Only friends in empty glass, pack of stale cigarettes, bottle of memories, suitcase of regret. Bottle of memories, suitcase of regret. 